And these guys hate it. Karma's a bitch. When the, when the, when, when the scam goes around on yeah. them, they absolutely loathe it well because they are the rarity right like there's more people there's less people that know how to scam than that know how to scam than no that know how to scam wait wait no. <laughs> that's exactly Still right about the PJ. yeah there's no you nailed less that one people that know how to scam there's more people that don't know how to scam right right there's like a small Number of percent of the population that knows how to scam. I'm saying they're the rarity that I got there, or did I even get there? Yeah, not really. More people don't know how to scam than do. Yes, that's what I was trying to get to. Hey, it's a PG. Mm, so satisfying. It's my window. I can't stand the rain. I don't know how long you can sing that for before we get a copyright strike. Because <laughs> it all stays. Oh, I hate you. Welcome to another episode of the most satisfying podcast, The Satisfying Podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yas, queen. Yes. How are we, Nicole? You know, okay, just fixing myself because I feel like I'm hot. Like I look like hot garbage. Well, I. Uh, was blessed with just this incredible. I don't know what to do. I'm shaking. <laughs> You're upset. I'm shaking. Look at it. my hands are shaking. You look like in uh, 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 Blazing Saddles mm. when he goes, Look at my hand. And they're like, Wow. And he goes, Yeah. Look at this. But this is my shooting <laughs> hand. <laughs> so, I mean, <clears throat> all right. So. We're upstairs, you know, having our pre-production meeting. Right. That's what we could call it. <laughs> pre-production meeting. Yes. And your daughter mm -hmm. is traveling. She is. With a friend. Yes. She was supposed to go to, I think, like Iowa today. Mm -hmm. um, and to spend a few days with her. We're, we're really close with them. She's been the girl's friend forever. And then one of the, um, fl the flight got canceled because I, I think, what's her name? The Storm? Uh, not Betty. Hurricane Nicole. Debbie. It's De oh, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Debbie effed it up, and so the flight got canceled. So. Thanks a lot, Debbie. Thanks a lot. Right. So um, then they're like, okay, we got to make plans. And Nicole has this look, right, where, like, she looks at her phone, and, she, and like, no matter what we're talking about, yeah. she looks at the phone like, yeah, well, I mean. And it's either, like, I told her, it's it, it can, it's either, and could be either. Yes. Either, like. My friend delayed dinner plans by 15 minutes, or we've just been hit with another terrorist attack. It's the same <gasps> reaction. No! <laughs> right? Yeah, it's what? all What's the same. What's wrong? Like, I can't imagine right. how your husband deals with that. Well, I mean, he's kind of like that, too, because, I mean, maybe not completely, but, like, it's kind of the old, um, your old, uh, what are words? Um, You're pissed. No, I am. I can't even think straight. Um, when you, your old analogy that, mm. uh, well, I guess maybe not really analogy, but you never know whether uh, at our house it's going to be an orgy or a fight. Right. There's like no distinction. So there's no distinction in. We just exist in a world of extremes. Yes. I am over the top extreme in every aspect of my life. Right, right. So, uh, and I guess also energy attracts like energy. Suppose. Right. So, uh, your daughter's friend or whatever, they yeah. come from money. Yeah. They're doing all right. Yeah. You know? And uh and and you get a text uh -huh. and you're making the could be another terrorist attack face. <gasps> well, should I read the text? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell everybody the news that broke when I was like, Well, um, he said, "What happened now? I mean, this crazy world that we're in. What could have happened?" The he guy, said, uh, "The guy, the, the dad said, I'm scrambling to up um, to. I'm scrambling right now. We'll update you in a few minutes because the flight just got canceled." And then also, I, could you send me pictures of you in outfits that are too small? It could be a great financial. Okay, I hope you listen last. So week. then he wrote, "Actually, Grandpa says he's going to get a PJ out of Teterboro. We're leaving here in two hours." <clears throat> so. Parker, who is 10 years old, <laughs> is going on a private jet in literally two hours. And how do you Actually, feel? now when you're watching this, she will have already flown on a private jet. Have you? No. <laughs> Why does she get to go on a private jet first? That's like, that feels like this is setting a bad precedent. Don't. 
I, I, I don't understand because you've been laughing since the news <laughs> broke. And I want to know the news why, broke. <laughs> the news broke. Why does this make you laugh so hard? Because I don't believe you. You don't believe me what? That it sets a bad precedent. It doesn't set a great precedent. It's a fine precedent. Oh, the flight got canceled. Don't worry, honey. We'll, we, we'll get the PJ. I, your daughter strikes me as a very uh, uh, well-developed, grounded human being. She is. I don't think you're worried about that at all. I think you're only jealous. I am very jealous. <laughs> like like I, excessively. To see. Seething with jealousy. And then to blame it on, well, this is not good for the child. That's not true. I just, this is like, that's like a bucket list item. Like one day I'd like to go on a private jet. For you. Yeah. That's a dream for you. Well, I mean, like, it's not like a dream based in anything like important. It's just a stupid, like, that would be really fun. But it's just like. I think everybody would like to get on a private jet once in their life. Wouldn't you? I wouldn't mind it at all. Okay. I think it'd be great. Except there's like two types of people. What? One type of person is like, well, I want my child to you know, live every dream I ever had and then some. I mean, I do. And that. other people are like, I want my child to do well. But I, if I haven't gotten to live no, my dream. I, no, 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 no. I want her to do well. I will do anything for both of those children. I go to great lengths to make them happy. It's absurd the things that I do. Mm -hmm. But I can be, I think I'm a human being. Mm -hmm. And it is a, a human emotion to feel jealousy sometimes. Of your daughter? I mean, not, not really of her. It's more of the experience of going on a private jet. Whose experience? And it's hers. <laughs> Why is she going on a private jet at 10? I've been on this earth way more decades. Yeah. And she is going on a private jet right and now. And you never have? Never. I, I probably, and now like we kind of talked about this, I feel like maybe a little bit of my anger, if you want to call it, <laughs> is because I settled... Matt, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> You're not joking, though. I, I you settled. caught yourself. Hey, look, I will say, you're in a place of great anger. Yeah. I don't think you mean what you say, okay. but I don't think you're joking either. I mean, like, I, I could think in this moment, in this moment, you're not thinking about anything besides the jet. Right. So you, like, I dated guys that could have given me that experience. Right. And, and so, like, and like, the, I, and they're not here anymore with me. They're dead. No. They're with somebody else. And you know where they are? Where? Whatever the they jet. want. They got private jet. Yeah. So, yeah, I think because you're so irrationally jealous of your 10-year-old daughter getting to fly in a private jet, that now you say things like, I settled, because you're only thinking about the jet aspect of the relationship. Like, every other part of the relationship is probably better with Matt, except... That he can't give me the private jet experience. And you want the jet. I now. mean, doesn't everybody want the jet experience? And he literally got the text message while he's out to lunch with her at PJ Clark's. Okay. So the, he literally, the guy said, Grandpa's sending a PJ. Matt goes, oh, tell Grandpa all I have to offer is a burger at PJ Clark's. <laughs> PJ Clark's or, or private PJ. jet. Yeah. And then when you, when you called your husband... To you, I mean, to check on the situation, but really vent. I no, think. I literally was like, "What the what the f?" She's right. Got, our daughter's going to private jet. He goes, I, "I, she's freaking out." He said, "I'm gonna go take the subway home." He did. <laughs> he goes, "All right, guys, have a good have a good show. I'm gonna go take the subway home." So you yeah. settled for the subway, and your daughter gets the private jet life. So you're gonna ask your daughter, like, "What's it like to be on a private no, I jet?" I literally wrote, "Take a million pictures." Right. I and I said, "I am so jealous. I hate you." <laughs> I wrote that. You said that too. Yeah, but she knows it's like a joke. Like of I would course. say to one of my girls. Of course. I hate you. Like, I, like, cause I'm so jealous. I told her she'd get a lot of oral points for this, and she was pleased. Oh yeah, yeah. And she actually believed it and was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> like she loved that. So you're pissed. I, I, I'm. I all I can think. I don't really think I'm pissed, but it's like the jealousy to a point where yes, it maybe is presenting as piss. Right. It's funny that you wore that green. <laughs> See thing with jealousy. See envy. Envy. Green is the color of envy. Envy, like from uh, Inside Out. That's right. That's it's right. A little different green, but I'll. I'll... Yeah. It's more of like a like a Kelly Green envy, but I know what you mean. Yeah. So yeah. between anxiety and envy, you're kind of in a whirlwind right now. <laughs> right? Is that, is that what? That's uh, right. That's right. Oh, man. I just, I don't know. Aren't you a little jealous? No. Come on, Sam. No. Come on. A 10-year-old is going on a private jet and we haven't even gone. Look, at we're sitting down here. Right. All I do is work tirelessly to make money for this family. Right. Ditto for you. Just trying to provide... And this bitch is on a private jet. This is just like construction. This fucking Go bitch ahead. Right. is on a Who? private jet. Who? My daughter. <laughs> Fuck. 
Like I, I don't. I want can't to, believe because you've worked so hard in broadcasting. It's close to twenty years, and I've never been on a private jet tirelessly. By the way, yes. Think about all the different gigs. Think of how many times I was, um, like. Uh, Did you ever have to sit on an airplane next to Stan? Yes. Not her. <laughs> I mean, I think about how many times I like I was sexually harassed, and I was like, whatever. I mean, were you it's part or- of the deal? When I first got to Sirius XM, before things were like the way that they are currently, uh-huh. current climate, uh-huh. Me Too, and yeah, you're not allowed to say or do that anymore. Oh my gosh. There's comments that were being made. And I was like, whatever. I'm like not offended easily. Right. Right. I'm not like most girls. No, I'm a cool girl. Right. Right. You know who's a cool girl? My daughter. Yeah. yeah. I need you. Private jet. I'm just going to just put my legs. I'm just gonna so how go. close were you? You were in a relationship with somebody who had private jet I No, he didn't money. have a private jet. But like, but he private was, jet money, like I'll get it. It's weird. PJ. But he's there now. Oh now! Oh, you're saying that he you... was—he was—he worked for a hedge fund. So you're like clearly he had. He was... We're young now, but we'll get to a place. I know for a fact he's in the place. You kept up. Yeah. Kept tabs. Kept up with those Kardashians. <laughs> he's doing well financially. Yeah, he's doing great. Yeah. yeah. Private so, jet money. Yeah, I don't. I could see him not like private jetting, but like yeah, on a pickle. Call like that, if this like came up, this... we were gonna fly commercial, but we right. can't get a flight. Let's so, just grab a PJ. Let's just grab a quick PJ. Yeah. I didn't know you had such a thing for private jets. It's not that I have such a thing. It's like, you know, I think we all want to feel like over the top or like feel like VIP and feel special. Champagne wishes and caviar dreams. That's what I want. And I have been working hard to make it happen. And now she's just like, Young "Uh." Parker Ryan (laughs) gets on the private jet on her way to Iowa. Look at the interior <laughs> of a perfectly private jet. Oh, was he there anyone better? Robin Leach? I freaking loved him. Goat. The goat. goat. Is he dead? I think he's dead. I think he's died, but what a great life. Hell of a life. He flew on some private jets. Wait, didn't they also have a show like on, uh, I think it was on VH1, kind of, that was like that. Like it, they did like the yes. life of Miley Cyrus. And it yes. was just like, they don't have one dog. They have a mansion for all hundred of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The graphics would come yeah. up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I loved it. Because that's, because people do, whether you say, like, whether you will admit it or not, mm-hmm. we all, that seems like that could be fun to live that life. Yeah. I mean, it's a little scary. Very scary. It's, but such, I, it's such opulence. It is, and I think only in the like the recent years, a lot of us, especially in the industry, who are like have access to celebrities, realize that that isn't always what it seems, and that sometimes some of these people are very lonely or actually really aren't very happy at all, and they've got everything. What I've heard is that lifestyles of the rich and the famous, they're always complaining, always complaining. I knew that was coming. <laughs> That's just what I've heard. Yeah, I mean, I've heard. I think I a little birdie. Told I think me I read that. the same book. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, of course, I'm happy for her, but like, it's I'm not happy. I haven't for seen her. one ounce of it. I, 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 I am incredulous at the moment. It's, yeah. I just got this news. So you got to take feel, a minute to process. I feel like someone just sucker punched me. Now, is it also tough for you? Yeah, you want this? Boom. Boom. How about for your daughter? Not you. Oof. Oh. This thing that you've created and that you work tirelessly. To make sure is mm-hmm. fed and has the life. And breathes, still lives. I just try to keep her alive. And I mean, look at the activities she gets to do. The activities. She gets to be raised in New York City, not crummy Syracuse, New York. Right? I mean, the not kid. Not Garbage Town, USA, oh. but New York City. New York City. Manhattan of all boroughs. Like playing the funnest sports, going to the coolest camps. like The coolest camps. Going to like, oh my God. And going out to dinner often, like just going to the bar or the restaurant with me. Oh, I mean, PJ Clark's, it's nothing. What do you, yeah. And now. And now look. Just when you thought. The life of Riley couldn't get sweeter. And they are not, they are good kids, both of them. But like they're still young. So every once in a while you had that like ungrateful moment. And I was like, well, I want this kind of thing. But that rarely happens. Oh, but she's, oh my God. What? She's in so much trouble. Why? Do you understand? I'm going to throw this in her face now. I mean, until she's 18 years old. Well, it, like I sometimes that happens and I have to be like, you know what? Have a little gratitude. Like, be a little bit grateful. You're gonna talk about this jet all the time. No, but I'm just saying. Like, there's some kids. Like, I have to say to like Keegan. Like, some kids. Like, they don't have a house. They don't have food. They don't have money for clothes. It's a lot. No, but we all our parents said that. Like, they're finish your plate. There are kids starving in. Uh, Drawing Africa. that Sally Struthers infomercial. Right. 
Let right. them know how tough it really gets. But I do. I say, I mean, just just know everything costs money. There's like nothing for free. Yeah, but no, no. You're going to. She's going to be like, well, I don't want to finish my dinner. And you're going to go like, oh, is that how you spoke on the private jet? <laughs> I mean, you're probably not wrong. I definitely am going to keep this. I don't feel like going to practice. Oh, you don't. Well, we feel- paid for practice. Is this a conversation you had on the private jet? <laughs> What to do? I mean, am I getting any more text messages? I mean, this is this is like Carrie origin stories. Oh, Carrie, like from the movie Carrie. When You're she the gets mother. Pa- I am not the mother, and Parker's the one that gets pig blood all over her. Yeah, because you're gonna give her a complex because of the jet. I wouldn't do that. You're gonna pour the pig blood though. No, I'm not gonna be the pig blood pourer. <laughs> I'm not doing that. You're gonna bully your daughter. I'm so much better than that. <laughs> I know you are. But this is messed. up. Up. Yeah. Why yes, is she is. on a private jet right now? She is. She's just freshly 10. Freshly. She just turned 10 in March. She's barely double digits, dude. And I got her a phone and I thought that that was the most absurd thing ever. Worse than yours? It, no, she got a nicer phone than me. Oh my god. Because all I care about is her making their life nice. And look at how the universe repays me. It puts her on a private jet. Kicks you square in the nuts. Right in the nuts. Balls up into my stomach. Wow. I can feel it's it's aching. Wow. You can make fun of me all you want, I'm, I know. Why no. I'm being empathetic. No, you're not being empathetic. You're taunting me. No. You're needling me. No. I know you. We've been friends for a minute, Sam. Maybe a little. <laughs> but but does it bother you at all that like the relationship is now shifting, whereas you would be the pillar of coolness sage and, wisdom oh. and coolness? Yeah, like and I like, take her to like to like Taylor Swift and Olivia Rodrigo shows, and like he and, and also just the well, here's what life is like. Well, here's what this is like. Well, here's what that is like. That's already shifting because you're gonna say, Parker, my ten year old daughter. What's it like to be on a private jet? <clears throat> What's it like when you land? Why is this not a real beer? Why is it only root? <laughs> we could p- put a splash of vodka or something. Nah, in there. do you have any rum? <laughs> <laughs> oh, What's Lord. it like? If you have checked bags. I, don't you also feel like it is? It's like it, it is a shift. Like it's a power dynamic shift too because she's going to have this on me now. Right? Like mm-hmm. it's kind of like. I'm mom, and I sometimes it's like, well, sorry, I get to do these things sometimes because, like, I'm a grown up now. And it's like, well, I can't. Oh my God. You know what's what? going to happen what? within the next two years? What? You're going to have a delayed flight, and she's going to go, Can we take a private jet? <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to go, No, Parker. A lot of people don't get to experience and, that. And then she'll be like, Whatever. Let me just call my friend's dad. Oh, let me call. No, she wants to say, let me call my friend's dad. She wants to say, let me call my friend's dad. Dad. Or no, let me call my friend's grandpapa. <laughs> <laughs> Can your dad call his dad and get us a job? And again, it's so, like, it's like. Do you think she's going to come back with vocal fry? Oh my God, I'll kill her. <laughs> I think she might. Oh. oh it like, was great. What if she, like, thinks she's cooler than me now? She, is she, here's the question Is she cooler yes. than you? <gasps> this is, this brings her. I went on my first private jet when I was ten. I mean, that again. Okay, uh, yes. I. It's more I was than I'm raised jealous. Like most girls were raised, but well, my friend had a private jet. Well, someone was like, "Oh my god!" What she says, "Jot." Jot. <laughs> wait, wait. What was it? Um, Uncut Joms. Uncut Joms. What if she comes Uncle back Joms. and is going like and going like, mm-hmm. "Mom." I'm my friend's meows. Oh my god! I'm his meows. I'm his meows. I'm his meows. I can't catch him. Josh Hoffman, I can't catch him. Josh Hoffman's meows. Was there? I I must have watched that clip seventeen hundred times. Like I love the movie, and I can't. I'm like, oh man, I gotta get the Blu-ray of that movie. Jess is like, what movie? I'm like, I'll catch him. No, I didn't even think anything of it when she said it. And then the first person I saw, I have to give him credit. I think it was like Boy with No Job. He gave like he goes on and played that clip, and I'd seen it and was like whatever. And then he played it, and he goes, "Anka John, <laughs> Anka John." Then he just kept, and I was like, "Oh my god, she is saying it weird." And then it took off and it went. Yeah, back. I, yeah, I didn't know until it was a thing. Yeah. I definitely did not. I well, I, I don't probably wouldn't have watched it. What was it on? Like Alex Cooper's podcast? Yes, that's who, yeah. Yes. So I'm not gonna. Yeah, you know, yeah. Oh, that's I, not. I, it's like, not for me. No, it's for the ladies. Jealous of, of her too, and all her success. You're jealous of Alex Cooper's success. Oh, I mean, I look up to her. I think that she's like really, really. Wait, are you kind of jealous of her? Yeah, success? Yeah, of too? course. Number one, in a different universe, you could be Alex Cooper. 
You're a very talented person. Right. But, so it didn't, but, didn't happen. So I'm jealous. But don't you think that maybe like. I'm happy for her. I think she's amazing and so talented. What about your daughter? <laughs> Not that happy for her yet. I mean, I'm sure I will be. You'll get there. I'll get there. But don't you think that like that that being if if you're and this is no because I'm same love. We're same. We're same. Me and you. We're the same. Are we? No. But, but yes. Yes. We're the same. Okay. And I'm saying that, like, at a level, what what level you give yourself? Of what? If Alex Cooper, let's say, is a level nine. Of, like, success? Uh, success is a tough word. Uh, but, like, that sort of fame If she's thing. nine, if she's then nine. I'm, like, five. Okay. But if you're five, don't you think that it is setting yourself up for a scenario where you can never be happy if you're, like, looking at nine? As opposed to, yes. like, let's just look at six. Just look at six. How do we get there and we build to a like six? Because you, you weren't always a five. You were no. a three not that long ago. I was probably a, a one. You were one not that long ago. <laughs> you were at the goddamn reception. Right. Test. I mean, by seriously. The way, by the way, like. It worked, but yeah, I mean. You know how many people want to host like a schlock morning show? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they go through like morning show boot camp yeah you know like, that's a thing morning show boot camp i didn't and then they yeah. like an old school radio right like you bounced around and market lived to in, market right and lived in all different cities and just like all to get where i got from the front desk market to market trying to find you know when one day i'll get to this market which will take me there 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 maybe the big apple and and i'm gonna <sighs> dedicate my life to the four maddocks and the yeah. uh, schlock the art of the Stop schlock, saying schlock. Oh, what is that i never even heard that word it's like the morning mashup but then schlock it's like schlock 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 give me the i want you to look up the dictionary i want you to read how rude you just were to my show schlock i didn't mean it, it. sounds rude it's kind of like yiddish like anybody who's jewish well, no, like my grandmother used to speak English oh, all the time. Okay. okay. And it's like, I can tell by the, I didn't know all the words she was saying, but I could tell by the sound of the words what it meant. And that's what schlock is. I didn't mean it this way. What does it say, Sam? Something such as, <laughs> I didn't mean it this way. Read it. Something such as merchandise or literature that is inferior or poorly made. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's not what I'm going. Yeah, that's what you meant. <laughs> I don't know words. I'm not yeah, good with words. Yeah, sure. You love words. You actually professed your love for words a couple episodes ago. So don't be, don't be trying to backpedal now, buddy. <laughs> um, no, but I mean, you know, they dedicate their lives to it, right? And you, like a little alien, like a little Toy Story alien yeah. in a claw machine, going me. I am the. You get plucked. Yes. off the desk. Put in the big seat. Okay. And look at you. And have some gratitude for that. You get saying. to start on third. Okay. In this world. I also feel like that initial thing wasn't me working hard. That was me stepping into a giant pile of golden shit. And I recognize that. Okay. It was what you do with that giant pile, right? Like I got that opportunity. Clearly the fact that you're prospering is not an accident. Right. But it's like, you know what? I mean, the biggins helped a little, but no, I'm just joking. In the beginning. Oh, yeah, maybe in, in the, the beginning. beginning. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. the beginning. But it's During like, those you, sexual harassment years. It's, it's like, you know what? Like, everybody gets a little good fortune sometime. Yeah. You've had yours. You'll get it again. Okay, well, I want the private jet. Uh, Alex Cooper fortune. <laughs> Saying. <laughs> Where is it? When is it coming? I didn't realize you were mad about Alex Cooper, too. Well, let's just throw it in there because you followed it up with that, and now I feel annoyed about that. Really? I also heard. Go ahead. A little birdie told me that she is, uh, she is shopping her next deal uh -huh. for a hundred million dollars, and that Sirius XM might be interested. How does that make you feel? Jealous, <laughs> <laughs> angry, frustrated. Yeah, because yeah. it's like okay, throw me a bone. Fine, give her the hundred mil. She can have it. Can I get one mil? Half? No. Can I get half a mil? <laughs> can I get a private check? Is this yeah. is this how the negotiations go? Can I get one mil? <laughs> no. I guess Half? No. Yeah. Private jet? Only for your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. I'm sorry. I have to keep checking. Yeah. I just feel. Any no, updates? No updates. And did the lack of updates make you more upset? No. I, no, I guess. You I, are you spiraling? I'm okay. Okay. I'm annoyed. Are you going to, like, she, she's going to, like, you're going to have so many questions for her. She did text right before we came down here. What did it say? And I, because I did say out loud, I didn't say this to her face. And she's not a spoiled brat at all. She's the best. Oh, here she is. Oh. 
Oh, <laughs> the update of all updates. This is not another 9-11. I have an update. That's why I looked so scared. Are you ready? You see it now, though, if you're watching on YouTube. Oh, this, is the, this is why. You're pissed. She said, I, this was sweet. I'm so excited. If I was a spoiled brat, then I wouldn't be excited. But I know I'm not because I couldn't be more excited, Mom. Very cute. By the way, that, like amount of like i'm just typing exactly what i'm thinking right now she's in a state of bliss she's so excited so you know what that is she's like <laughs> it's so great try to um i tried to like be happy for her so i wrote take a million pics what did she just write how about i call you now she's rubbing it in right because i can't make a call from a commercial flight like screw you i'm not taking pics how about i call you okay. from that pj I'm a pj Come on, she's taunting me. You think so? I almost want to call her. I'm I'm livid. I mean, does she have confirmation that she can make calls no. from the people? Well, maybe. I don't know. I feel like you can. I feel like that like that's like a, a like a uh, yeah. Do you think the reason you can't make calls is because There's so many people or something? You haven't earned it. <laughs> well, she sure has. You haven't earned she the privilege. Lives. She just she just came, she came out uh -huh. of my vagina, almost killed me. Mm -hmm. Oh, Okay. She did. I hemorrhaged and almost died. Right. I actually said to the doctor while I was shook, am I dying? <laughs> Just like that. Which like is wild because it's not even the only time no. that you were in that position in a hospital. No, both kids. And oh. the truck. Oh, and the truck. I have almost died three times. Thank God you're here. Well, I mean, like, don't you have, do you have gratitude for me being in your life? Do you have gratitude for the fact that you're alive and it's like, it's like I survived death Three times, yeah. and I'm pissed about the private jet. You know, it's it is interesting because I your kept, perspective is I, wild. I talked for a year after the accident about perspective, how it really changed my perspective. It wore off. It does, right? It does. Man. Tell me, is being it like, honest? I'm being honest, I'm, and I love that because people don't talk about that. Is it like when you're on vacation and you're like, because I'll go on vacation, right? And I don't vacation much, mm -hmm. but I'll go on vacation. I'm at the beach, and when I take a minute and take a day or two, yeah. and I'm purely on vacation, I'm like. Bro, I figured it out. Yeah. Like, I find my peace. Yeah. I have the plan in motion. I go, of course, I found the truth. Yeah. It lasts for three days. If and that. If I'm, if I'm lucky. Sometimes I get home. By the time I get to bed, I'm. I, every, it's all a race. It's over. It's gone. The same thing happens with the perspective. Of, yeah. When yeah. you get hit by a car, almost die, and then you're like, oh, my God, I'm alive. I'm alive. Thank God I'm alive. Thank God I'm alive. It's like, all right, I'm alive. Now, um, where's my private jet? Right. I believe it because my dad, like, at one point he fell off a ladder years really? years ago. Why do I not know the story? Well, he fell off a ladder and I found him in the house and he had somehow, like, adrenalined himself back into the yep. house, yep. got on the phone, and then laid down and, like, that was it. He Isn't couldn't get back up. He was how, conscious. How your body goes into shock and what adrenaline can do is yes. very bizarre. And so it was a huge thing. He had spent days in the hospital. How many? 17? Are you competing again? I'm competing with your dad. You're jealous How long? that we're talking about him now? No, I'm just joking. No, I don't. It was not 17 days. Okay. But, like, did he break stuff? Like, what he actually broke, happened? Like, yeah, his whole oh. back, his whole, which is bad. And he's bedridden and everything. But it was also like he fell off a ladder and hit his head on the cement. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like that kills people. Or could make them a vegetable. Or, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he had, like, after that perspective change. Perspective change. For a second. For a little while. Yeah. Now he's back to the yeah, yeah. same old goose. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think, like, all joking aside, I don't think she's the kind of kid who will, like, let this. She knows this is incredible, knows this is not normal. I'm not worried about her at all. You're worried about me. You're the problem. I'm saying this to you. I'm not t saying all this to her. You're supposed to be my friend. We're in the trust tree. Here. I am your friend. But right. So I That can, means I, I can tell you when you're acting like fine. a goddamn maniac. Yes, and I'm fine with that. I'm okay. Actually, you're one of the only people in the world that I'm fine with telling you the truth. And I appreciate that. I really, maybe it's your delivery. It just, it always. And you know, I love it. I do. Yes. But I just feel like. And appreciate you for you. Yes, I know. Thank Not you. Not because you hang with Leonardo or some guy who played in Fargo. I think his name is Steve. <laughs> she likes me for me. <laughs> How did you just pull that out? <laughs> so random. Go ahead. <laughs> I do know that she won't um, have that happen, but I think it is a, a very natural human reaction to feel this way. And I guarantee in the comment section, please comment. I'm not the only one who feels like that. I'm just the only one admitting it. And I wouldn't say it to her because I sound, oh, I did say it to her. I said a I'm little. so jealous, but like cute. I'm like really, really. I know. I saw it. I'm glad. eating I, me alive. And you understand I feel blessed that I got to see it. It's like the so fact that this happened. We literally stood up after finishing lunch in our uh, our meeting. Pre-production meeting? Pre-production meeting. Yeah. And was like, 
that face. And okay, so like I brought my son to a WWE show, mm -hmm. and like he got an experience that like I mean I would have killed as a kid for as a kid, and I mean like. I probably even as a college student would have killed yeah. for it. Like, like actually murdered? Like actually would hunt somebody down? If somebody was like- Hired so, you? Okay, here, I'll, I'll explain the as situation. As an assassin? I'll explain the situation okay. and you tell me if it's worth killing for because I kind of think- It is? I kind of think yes. <laughs> okay. Drive to the back of the arena. Okay. In the talent parking. Mm-hmm. Go in the back door before the show opens. Very cool. Walk through where the wrestlers are saying hi. Very cool. Walk up to the ring, gets to take a picture in front of the ring, mm -hmm. ask if he can go in the ring. Mm. I go, I'm being respectful. I go, no, because, you know, we are not wrestlers. Right. And this is their space, and I don't. Right. A huge name wrestler happens to be there and overhears it and goes, hey, bud, you want to get in the ring? And brings him in the ring, jumps off the top rope, has this horrible whole thing i'll commit mass murder gets out of the ring that's that's goes back it takes pictures with a ton of wrestlers then once the show starts enjoys it from the front row yeah that's you know how old i was when i got front row tickets for the first time probably 30 i mean faster than i got on a private jet i can't he got this when he was six i mean that's yeah so did are you setting a bad precedent no i was so happy seeing him get no, this joy. No, 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 I know, I know, no. Like, I mean, obviously I've had those moments, like when she came in to meet Taylor Swift and Taylor picks her up and hugged her. But it's a different thing because you also met Taylor Swift. Yeah, but I never And like the wrestling times. thing that I just, that's what I mean. Like oh. I've gotten to do all this stuff right, now. Right, right, right. So, but what we're saying yes. is we've gotten to a point yes. where your daughter's getting to do a thing that you have not gotten to do. Yes, right. Well, she, she just, she just went up to me. Yeah. It happened. Why did I call you? Oh my God. Why did I call you? Should I write? Should I call ya? They just asked for her weight. Is this like an Epstein thing? No, I think that's because of private jet. They have to be careful. Like, isn't that oh, how Leah's went down? I, you know what? I don't know, but you can ask your daughter. I don't have a lot of private jet experience. <laughs> it's too funny to me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I just. Are we done talking about this? All right. I can't. Okay. Let's do updates as we go. Though. Yeah, I mean, as I get them. Speaking of updates, by the yeah. way, I was thinking about this a lot uh, after you left last week mm -hmm. about the scam, the tech scam. Please, yes. by the way, one of my favorite stories we've ever done on Satisfying was on last week's show mm -hmm. when you when we went through your text messages. Ooh, it was rough, dude. And the scam that you got and like the realization of the scam. But the more I thought about it, because at first I was like, oh, it's some like whatever phishing scam where they saw you on social media, mm -hmm. they got your number, and this yeah. is what they do to people, right? Mm -hmm. But man, between knowing who you are, which is possible because you're a very public figure, yeah. but knowing who you are, having your number, mm -hmm. and knowing a family friend mm -hmm. whose number you didn't have, yes. the more I, th and I thought about it a lot, because I was thinking about the pictures. Of what? I, you in a tiny bathing suit. Is that right? But, Were you but, like, Ooh. Yeah, yeah, okay, I was. Okay. That's exactly what right. I was. <laughs> Did your eyes roll in the back of your head? I'm just glad you gave the visual. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, are we, have we done any work in figuring out who this might be? No. Do we think it's possible that this <sighs> scammer, hacker attacker, oh my God, so many hacker attackers. actually knows you? If they don't know me like personally then it could just because yeah it could be somebody that i know or somebody that's just like a fan of the morning show or of something one of the podcasts or something and then knows that i would fall for it and then how do they know that person's name to give i don't know that because that because they had to have gotten her name from like facebook that she's one of my facebook friends but they but you have so many facebook friends i know and they picked so somebody popular. who i knew but didn't know enough that like it, the story matched how would they know that much like, just like you I'm, don't interact on Facebook? This would be a direct relation with Syracuse for me. Here we right? go. Here we go. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Because it's our family, our best family friends in the world. That's It's their connection with them. And they know everyone. And because it's like, even though blackmailing you is absurd at this point. Right. Not because you don't have anything to give, but because you, there's no shame. Zero. So it's like, how are you going to get me to... I, 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 
like, do you understand the dirt that you would need on Nicole to right. like blackmail? Noth- yeah, that you did say this to me at, after last week's episode. Like, like there's nothing. Like, I'll say anything and do anything. Right. What are they gonna do? Ruin your reputation? <laughs> <laughs> oh, everyone thinks she's a whore now. <laughs> <laughs> but like, that doesn't mean everybody knows that. That doesn't mean everybody knows you as well as I do, and we at Satisfying yes. do. Like. Maybe there is somebody in Syracuse. It's a Dallas area code. I think we found that out. Right, but didn't you? Okay. But but that also could be like a Google number or something. I know. Did we also Google it to see like when there's a number that's like from a hacker attacker? Right. I think that needs to be put in the dictionary. By the way, a hacker, hacker attacker. Do you when it goes? When, what are you more scared of, the hacking or the attacking? I think the attack. Okay. I mean, people yeah, get hacked sure. all the time. <laughs> is it? I'm wondering if when they are those types of numbers, can you put it into Google and it'll say, oh, this is a known spam thing or a Sometimes, known, because we didn't try that. That's weird. No, I mean, I Googled the number and I didn't get that. Well, no, I just Googled the area code, actually, I think. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. I hope that all, all the is guys. Is it possible that it's somebody from Syracuse? Yeah, I suppose. Right. It felt very Syracuse-y. It did? No offense. I'm from there. but I went there. Yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of Syracuse ties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I um, mean, I called the Garbage Town USA a minute ago. Keep in mind, I spent four years of my life in Syracuse. Uh, yeah. It's, it's a all great, good. It's a great spot. Love Syracuse. Love it so very much. Yes. Um, I, Made me the man I am it today. It really did, right? Yes, it did. Me I, and Carmelo. Oh, God. oh, yeah, you went to school with Carmelo. I guess I did. One time, Carmelo Anthony, I, didn't, I wasn't in the class with him, but my friend was. And he said, and you know, every single thing that guy did, because we were freshmen at the same time. Right. Every single thing that guy did was like front page news. Like he was the biggest celebrity in the I mean, world of in Syracuse. He brought us to a national championship. He did. He was in a history class once, mm-hmm. and he had his head on the desk the whole class, mm-hmm. and nobody bothered. If if Mello needs to sleep, let him sleep. You know, he's got a big game tonight. Right. So at one point in the middle of history class, he just put his head up and raised his hand, and the teacher was like, "Oh, oh!" And he called on him, and he was like, "Yes, Carmelo," and reportedly. From the person that I heard it from, who was an eyewitness, Carmelo Anthony said, "War is bad. It makes me sad." Then he put his head back down, <laughs> which is just the dopest thing you could say. I mean, he wins. Yeah, it's sick. That's it's so sick. sick. Yeah, go. go but ahead. but you got a Syracuse vibe. Yeah, from the scam. Yeah, and I don't know which is is really worse. I mean, like, I should I be like feel better if it's somebody I know? Right, like I like neither one is good. They both blow. Yeah, like I th- th- not like oof. At least it was just someone trying to blackmail me. Oof. At least it was like some robot, cyber robot. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. They haven't hit me up again, but I am getting hit. I just got hit up now by someone else. Someone named Liz. Oh, here it is. Five hundred dollars a day. Oh, the sick. basic salary is, salary is nine hundred fifty per four working days. It just it, they I, now that I now that makes me think it's it, not a Syracuse person. Because I, a, yes, you I, get a lot of those. I've gotten a, a good amount the past week. Or two. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get the uh, hey? It's so and so. No, you haven't gotten that yet. No, I got. It's funny. I was driving with hot dog, and he told me about it, and I was like, no, I, and I got it that day. Hey, it's so and so, and then. Hey, it's so-and-so, like, either, like, it was great to see you last night or whatever. And then six hours later, they text again Uh, and go, like, hey, did you lose my number? Yeah, I got one that was, like, um, um, so are we going to, like, talk about, like, our convo the other night? Yes. And I was like, oh, who is this? Yeah. I didn't want to blow it. What if I did have a conversation with somebody that I promised drunkenly to, like, have a talk with about? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's the paradise of me. It's if you, if I don't have your number on the phone, yeah. and you're not expressly telling me who you are, right. you'll never hear from me. Okay, you know. Yeah. How's it? What are you thinking about? Who it is? And the private jet. <laughs> Two things. Two things can be true at the same time. A hundred percent. You got a very complicated big brain on you. I got a lot going on. Yeah. And then like she's going, and then like I won't see her till Sunday. So it's like she's jetted quite literally off. And it's wow. Like, so, and she'll be, like, by the time she lands, she'll be a different person. No, she won't. She's a person who's flown in a private jet? She's a private jet flying motherfucker. I hope she gets to fly home in private, too. Uh, I don't think that'll happen. We'll see. You didn't think this would happen. No, you're right. <laughs> they do have flights home. Okay, well, you didn't think but this would happen. But maybe Grandpa will say, just keep the jet here. Keep the jet. Keep it till Sunday. You want to go anywhere else? Bahrain? Mm-hmm.
And now I feel bad for Keegan. You got to put him on a private jet. Now I got to it's not, it's not equal. Fair is fair. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, so I mean, I get, yeah, that's. Yeah. Actually, the fact that you're getting more texts now make me think it might yeah. just be a scam. Yeah. And I'm screwed because I kind of like, because I engaged. A and lot. engaged in such a strong way. A lot. That the computer's. That be the what powers you, that be are like oh. Yeah. I think it's a room full of people. Like I watch a lot of those uh, uh, scamming scammer mm. YouTube videos mm -hmm. where these uh, guys who have really great computer knowledge. Yeah, uh, that's what they do. They spend like they put out some. Sometimes it'll be live streams on like Twitch or whatever. Mm -hmm. Other times it'll just be YouTube videos. But they'll spend hours on the phone with these scammers mm -hmm. and. They'll use a Google number. They're using a Google number, and they'll have like a fake, like old lady voice. You know, like yes. instead of uh, uh, instead of being like, "Hello, please don't take all my money." It's a old lady's voice. Hello. Right. Also, aren't they doing? Aren't they doing things like? I I know that they're able to like they can get my mom's voice and call like it sounds like my mom like with AI right aren't they able to do that which is scary because yeah. if my mom called and was like honey you need money or something I'd be like okay <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling from okay. a different number but I need money okay mom where are you <laughs> whatever I'll wire you need. it immediately has to be Western Union okay <laughs> <laughs> but that's scary because I mean that's how you like. It, like you hear their voice and it's them, like that's my proof that well, it's them. We have a hot dog and I uh, have a, it's my acquaintance, hot dog's friend, who made me think of you because I wonder if you'd get scammed this way too. Um, the answer is yes, yeah. <laughs> whatever it is. They got a call and they picked it up even though they didn't know the number. And the number said, This is the IRS. Oh, yep. You're I've behind on your taxes. Yeah. And there's going to be legal ramifications. Yes. We need you to send us a Western Union. And it has to be a Western Union right now for three thousand dollars. Guess what? The IRS doesn't call or text. Well, guess what she did? What? Went to the bodega, got a three thousand dollar Western Union, and sent it immediately. Oh no! I don't think even I would do that. I can't imagine anybody would. No, because I don't I, think you would. No, I wouldn't. I do because, yeah, like that's a, the IRS. Something like official, like federal, like like you're just like no, they're not going to text me. No, and they if anything, need, they s snail mail. And they don't need three grand like that. They're good. <laughs> yeah, they're good. Have you seen these bridges? <laughs> they're sick. <laughs> so oh these scammer God. scamming videos is like they set up these fake accounts and everything, and they get these uh, 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 scammers calling them, <laughs> and uh, then while the scammer, because the idea is that they have you go into your bank mm -hmm. and then they have you put a, a deposit in mm -hmm. and then, you know, but you put in a deposit that's, that's too much or too right. little or whatever. So then they go, oh, you need to replenish this so we can pay it back. Uh, and then they basically just have you take your money out of your account and put it in their account okay. and then yeah. you lose all your money. Yeah. But so while they're doing this, these dudes have like fake websites set up that looks exactly like a bank yeah. site. Yeah. And and while they've got the scammer like going and pretending they're an old lady who's like incompetent going, right. I don't know, should I be clicking this? Oh, should I be honey. clicking that? Right. They're actually on the back end like going through the scammer's computer because it's connected. So they keep her on the phone, her. Right, but the but the but the her is going through right. the scammer's computer right. Right. who's you're sharing a screen. It's unbelievable. And then they are either I've watched them like just start deleting all the files off the scammer's computer. Oh. And so you hear these scammers going like, Wait, wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Yes. <laughs> or or there have been times where be, they gain full control of the computer yes. and they turn the webcam on. Oh, that's fun. So they can see the face and everything. It's yeah. so great. And these guys hate it. Karma's a bitch. When the, when the, when, when the scam goes around on yeah. them, they absolutely loathe it. Well, because they are the rarity, right? Like there's more people, there's less people that know how to scam than, that know how to scam than no, that know how to scam. Wait, wait. No. <laughs> that's exactly Still right, thinking Nicole. about the PJ. Yeah, there's no, you nailed that one. less people that know how to scam there's more people that don't know how to scam, right? Right. There's like a small 
number of percent of the population that knows how to scam. I'm saying they're the rarity that I got there or did I even get there? Yeah. Not really. More people don't know how to scam than do. Yes, that's what I was trying to get to. Hey. It's a PG. Yeah, no, it's tough. It's just, it's it's just tough. It's blocking everything. I'm sure it is. Um, But yeah, that's 100% right. And they go through like, yeah, because most people, even if they don't know how to scam back, know they're being scammed, so they say no. Right, like, so they're just used to being like the man, and when they get screwed, there's it's something the better. Best. Yeah, yeah, It's the best. Yeah. It really is the best. Yeah, I've been watching uh, those, and I've been, watch I've been watching a lot of like uh, uh, pop star, like pop group Oh, like the Lou Pearlman? The Lou Pearlman one? I did watch the Lou Pearlman one. I have one. not watched that, and I'm uh, dying to. Yeah, and maybe that's what started the whole thing, because like I watched a Danity Kane YouTube documentary. Oh, I loved I loved making the band. Diddy screwed him so and, bad. And now Diddy's Aubrey O'Day, everyone thought that she was just like complaining. We're like, oh, he was an animal. Yeah, he was an animal. 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 Horrible human being. Yeah. Yeah. I was I I, I was just started one about the pussycat dolls. Wow, this is random. Well, because it's just so interesting that these people Did they loosen up their buttons? Uh <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. Saying what you gonna do to me? Uh, yeah. But well, I don't see nothing. <laughs> Wait, yeah. I don't even know. I know the Lou Promo one. I don't know. That, I didn't know that there was a well, These are just on YouTube. Are you just like going down a rabbit hole mm -hmm. of like old has been girl groups? Well, it's just it's just very interesting. It doesn't have to be even girl groups. Okay. But it's very interesting that like these groups are set up to have this image of Unity. No, like it's your dream come true. Private jet. Yeah, 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 yeah. And money yes. and the fabulous life. Right. But then the more you hear about these stories, the more it's like the the actual face that you're jealous of, that you're aspiring to be, is completely getting screwed over. Yeah. And there's people behind the scenes that are making all of the money. Danity Kane made no money. Yeah, zero. None. Like what was the point? What did it do for them? It made them famous. That's it. Made them miserable. Right. right? Miserable. And then the same thing on this Lou Pearlman. So Netflix puts like that. He's such a creep, man. I, but that's why I'll watch all any Lou Pearlman content. You will. 100%. Big Lou fan. Not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> but I find him to be a fascinating yes. pop culture figure. Hideous. He, just why aesthetically we, speaking aesthetically both and as a human being. And as a human being. A hideous human being inside and out. Bizarre looking. But also fascinating because the boy band craze defined this era and lou was behind all of yeah. them yeah lou did and everyone thought he was just like this genius which i guess he was ish he was he stole everyone's money yeah, yeah. i mean that's take, gotta take some kind of i mean he's a so sociopath do you think that or maybe this is not an opinion thing do we know or think that this was his goal the whole time to take or, their money yes well no did he i mean listen there's always somebody behind a group right there's like a whole um like record label and stuff, so everyone's making money off of the the artists. No, no, yeah, but no, it Do was. You know well, I tell you, did I'll he get you. greedier and greedier and then become more? Of the a scamming whole. and the lying is nuts with this guy. Okay, okay. Like I didn't even know how deep it went, and I'm a Lou Pearlman historian, huge Lou fan. <laughs> yeah. Now, okay, you might get freaked out a though. Lou historian. <laughs> <laughs> well, because it's so interesting because he did Backstreet Boys. Yes. Then he did In Sync. Uh huh. Then he did the two biggest ever. Right. Then well, he did O Town. Then he did LFO. He never had new kids on the block. Um, a hand in them. No, because he? he said specifically a hand in them. He tried. Mm -hmm. He said no. I'm kidding. By the way, it said in this doc, there's no sort of no one weird sexual him. stuff at all. Weird. As a matter of fact, they said that there were people who thought he was just like weird and asexual. Okay. Like there was. Okay, no reason, women around, I, no men around, no touching. Because of what he looks like aesthetically, people he, just assumed, yeah, perv, weirdo. He's a weird aesthetic looking yes. person. But uh, like his story was, and your daughter would love him, that he had a, a, a he would jet. rent out jets, mm. right? And that he would rent them out to like companies and CEOs and stuff and musical acts. And he rented out a jet to new kids on the block. And he goes, how can the new kids on the block afford a private jet? And then somebody was like, this is what they're making on their shows. And he was like, I'm in the wrong business. I gotta get in the music business. And you and spoiler alert, okay? Yeah. You go through some of these episodes, and by the end, they go, "There's no evidence he ever had a jet company. Like it's all lies. The whole origin story. How, uh, how Anna Delvey of him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basic. Oh. It's a Basic Jets. What you, Paul? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. But but like he wanted to have this image yeah. of this already successful businessman. Don't you worry. I already have the money. I already have this business. But I think I'm going to build this group.
Okay. okay? In reality, he had put on this like con yeah. and convinced people around him to invest in him and the business. Yeah. Whether it was like the airplane thing or whether it was these pop groups. Right. Except it was like a Ponzi scheme. Nobody was going to get any money back. Like all of he his- he was taking it all? That's all there was. There was no actual there. So he- they Like you know the- how Ponzi schemes work. Yes. Yes. But right. he was that like, was like Bern- Bernie Madoff. Bernie Madoff okay, of okay. pop stars instead of stocks where it's like, it's like, <sighs> yeah, I, they're like, well, I need, I need to get my money back. So it's like, no problem. I'm going to get Nicole to money. invest in me right, and I'll so give, I can pay him right, back. Right. And then I'll right, get, right. you know, you, what this is it? person, what, Peter and Peter Piper. to pay Paul. What's wrong with me today? You're mad about your daughter taking a private jet. So I just can't make sentences. Correct. I can't think of words. You're in a fury. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Like any good parent should be. So, uh, okay, so, he, so, so yeah, he's so taking it all. Taking it all and. Smart. They said, I think it was Chris Kirkpatrick who His was on the doc. Kicked. He actually said on the doc, he was like, yeah. I didn't know and that then there rhymed. Was, that's what he said. Did he? he said, I swear to God, he goes. And then I found out that Chris Kirkpatrick <laughs> rhymes with get your ass kicked. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> it was a really funny honestly, line. that's great that he kind of, I mean, that's amazing. Yeah, and he's Good like. Good for him. It was over. <laughs> it really was. But he said, like, they didn't really didn't make any money. And then NSYNC sat in a, I think it was, it, I don't think it was Backstreet Boys. I think it was NSYNC. But it was one of, maybe it was Backstreet Boys. It was one of the groups. Mm. They all sat in a room and Lou Pearlman was like, we got the deal. Fine. It's payday, boys. And he passed checks around to all of them. It was 10 grand. Were they not pleased with that? They're like, what? Like, we're. I feel like I've done deals better than 10 grand. Like, we're making millions of dollars. Well, I'm saying, like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like, it's like 10. Like, this isn't the beginning. This is like, we've hit because Lou Pearlman, not only did he have scam stuff going on, but he also, in, with not just Backstreet Boys, all the bands that he did. Yeah. He got the manager fee, which is 10% of the whole deal. Right. But then also, on paper, the band splits the money equally. Okay. Which in some of the, it's like, really, Justin yeah, Justin yeah, and yeah, JC yeah, don't yeah, deserve yeah, a little yeah. more. People hate on JC, but at the time, yeah, JC was the man. The man. Right. Lou was the sixth member of the band on paper. <laughs> Wait, so but like, did they agree to that or they didn't know that They he agreed. Was... It was what it was. No, that should not be equal. It's like a manager. He's the sixth. Takes a percentage, or and, no? He gets the manager and the sixth. That's yeah. So not only does he get a sixth, but now instead of a fifth, you get a sixth because wait, the wait. pie is being divided uh, okay. into six pieces now instead of five I, pieces. I have questions. Go ahead. My first question is: So he's the sixth Backstreet Boy, right? Lou. Lou should have changed your name. Lou. So it's 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 Nick. Yeah. And and a- and Aaron. No, not oh, Aaron. Ins- but he did Aaron Carter too. Oh. And Lou. And Lou. Lou. Right. It was it was it was Nick and whatever. Uh, uh AC and and I got you. I got you. Kevin and, and Lou. And Lou. Uh, <laughs> okay, wait. Right. So first question. I'm a backstreet boy too. <laughs> Backstreet's back, all right. Yeah. First And then he did it to NSYNC too. And O-Town? And then he did it to O Town. Oh my god. Okay, did he did when he did the payday thing and they all got the 10 grand, were they like, oh, thanks? Or were they like, what the F, Lou? They said, what the F? And that's when they started the process of leaving Lou. No strings attached is about Lou. Oh. They left him. Did I know? Was that public knowledge? Kind of, but. People just thought it was like the industry, kind of. You, my man. Bye. <laughs> right. So they left Lou at that point. Okay. But Lou was like, big deal. I'll do more bands. Yeah. But And it was kind of like a band Ponzi scheme, right? Because the same way he was like, Cool. If you leave, I got all these other bands. Because like Backstreet Boys didn't know he did in sync. They didn't? Until in sync got big and Lou was like, Yeah, that's my other band. And they're like, You didn't tell us you were doing this. He was like, Yeah, we're like direct competition, basically. And he a hundred percent direct. Yeah. It'd be like if I was like, Hey, also I invented yeah. Burger King. Yeah. And it's like, but we're McDonald's. Yes. Why would you do yes, this? Yes, yes. And Lou was like, I didn't tell you? No. They were like, No. He was like, Oh, okay. I did LFO too. They're like, What? What? <laughs> what? I did love LFO. They well, they love girls who wear Abercrombie they and Fitch. They really do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who doesn't? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, but Lou's thing. Wow, that's crazy. And he, so he ended up going to jail. But did they ever get their money 
back or do they lose that? I mean, because they're obviously no, all over. No, the bands don't didn't. No, the ba- they ended up like Backstreet Boys left Lou. Like they they started making money when they left. Okay, so not. But that now. whole first chapter. I mean, Backstreet Boys are still on tour and doing crazy money right now. Yeah. But like, yeah, it was, and luckily, No Strings Attached was like a crazy success. But I believe Lou was still the sixth member of the band. That's crazy. So yeah, even, like, is that still the yes, guy in the contract? Yes. So even once they left, they had to still yes. pay him because the uh, contract so Lou is binding. So like, Lou is like, okay, you want to go? All six of us are getting paid. Yeah. Bye, 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 bye. bye, bye. <laughs> wow, So he ended insane. up going to jail, though, for the for the Ponzi scheme. Is he alive? He died in jail. <sighs> wonder if anything weird happened to him. He apparently got beat up a lot. Yeah, well, you know, his name's Lou. Yeah. And I'm I I'm not saying Lou's a bad name, but just like Lou on that face. And he looks like yeah. Yeah, and Pearlman Lou Pearlman. Yeah. Yeah. So Yeah, that's not that's no bueno. No, it was uh And how many of them like how many of the boy banders participated in this? I mean like, I, do they do a lot of like talking head things? Yeah. Kind of the ones you would expect, you not know. Not JT. No. He's too busy fighting that DUI. I'm not guilty. The world tour. <laughs> it's the greatest quote that's ever been. Ever. And I told you, I think I said this on, on Satisfying, the best, when that first happened, like the greatest thing that popped up on my phone was um, Troll Star gets into the <laughs> yeah, That was the best. That was the headline. <laughs> Troll Star. Yeah. No, there was, like, I mean, but Lou like fled to like Vietnam or something. And they he went, knew. They chased him. They got him. Wow. They got him. Yeah. I mean, I just always think it like when people run, when everyone's when anyone's on the lam, like don't you know, like you know it's gonna end. So like, what's I don't the know because some of these guys are like, it's like, but liars are nuts. Like people who just lie. Like all OJ, the time. did you think you were gonna get away in the Bronco, or are you just gonna keep I driving? Mean, he got away. He didn't do it. <laughs> but if he did do it, this is how he would have done it. <laughs> if if. But he didn't. But he if did. he had, but if he had. He, there is a plan. Right. <laughs> Wait, so he went to Vienna. Why Vietnam, I... not Vienna. Oh, Vienna sounds so much more lovely. Way more lovely. Right? Yeah. I think Vienna is where Taylor Swift is this weekend, and that's why I just said okay, that. Okay, that probably makes top sense. top of mind. Um, okay, so, yeah, so he went to Vietnam. And or then... or a, some kind of country. Okay, but like was, this, was this in the news? Like, I don't remember this. Like, they, they were chasing when they bust, Lou, Lou Pearlman. When they busted him, it made news. Okay. I think they kept it out of the news while they were chasing Thank him. Thank you for they... not putting his picture up there. Because I could see you having put it up there to, like, enhance it. I don't want to look at his ugly face. It's really a wild doc because the technology of it, they have him kind of uh, narrating it. Lou? Lou. They have... From footage. the dead? <laughs> yeah, they got his ghost. Because <laughs> they signed him to his life rights, and that actually does include your death rights. Wow. Well. No, people don't know this. So they have an interview with him where he's talking to the camera. Like, he's sitting at a desk going like, hey, I'm Lou. But what they did was they took his book mm. that he wrote. Yes. He's the byline on it, you know? And they put... This is going back to the thing about your mom on the phone. Yeah. They put... They they imported all the Lou Pearlman audio that they had yes. into the AI. Okay. And then they typed quotes in from his book that they wanted to use as narration. Brilliant. And then they AI'd his mouth in this video. Wait, of him. do you know this? Like 100%. for sure. They say it. They say it. Because they can't just But does it look good? Like it looks very realistic? It's, it, yeah, you could tell it's a little off. But like enough that you're like, okay, I feel the vibe. The yes, Lou, the 100%, Lou vibe. The 100%. Per, the Pearlmeister was in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm a Pearl head from way back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was gonna think not gonna think. I was gonna think. Oh god, the PJ. Yeah. I was um almost about to say the what were his fans, the the uh Pearlminators. I think that was the first one, but I like Pearlhead Pearl way heads. better. Yeah. Shout out to my Pearlheads. I'm the six Backstreet Boy. Oh my God. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So oh. he's sitting there like talking to camera. I like and that. And it's his voice, but it's all AI. I'm running home to watch tonight. You like that? I love this. In the end, and I, I'm interested to hear if you would take the deal. In the end, he actually presents it in a very interesting way. He goes, Let's say I came to you. Mm-hmm. And you weren't famous. You weren't doing anything, right? And I came to you and said, "I would like to make you a star. I would like to invest 
time, mm -hmm. year. Like I, I like to invest the next three years in you, right? And put my m money on the line. Like I'll pay millions of dollars mm -hmm. to get you everything you need, and if everything works out okay, you'll make ten to twenty million dollars, and I'll make fifty. Okay. Would you take that deal? Okay. I just can you just do the very beginning again? Okay. You're not. You got nothing going on right now. You're not me. A, right. Okay. I'm gonna come to you, right? Yeah. I go. I have the connections. Yes. I have the resources. Yes. I have the know-how. Right. I want you to come with me. Okay. I'm gonna mentor you. Yes. I'm gonna turn you into a pop star. And. I'll invest my money in it. It's not gonna cost you anything. Uh huh. It's gonna take a, a long time. It could take three years. Okay. I'm gonna spend millions of dollars, could a million, okay, two million dollars. Okay, and then I get ten to twenty. If it works out, but it's only an if. If it works out and you become a household name, you can make ten, twenty million dollars. I think I'd have to. I'd have to go for it. And I'll make fifty. Okay, that sucks. Like the the discrepancy, but like I think you still are gonna be ten to twenty million dollars. So with he's that. saying that's the situation. That he kind of when like Backstreet and In Sync were like, "Yo, what the hell are you doing, dude?" He's mm. like, "Well, listen." I put my my. He did. He actually invest his own money in that. Hundred percent. Well, no. I mean, he stole the money from other people, oh, but yeah. it was money he had stolen. It was his money to to steal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he had turned into his right, money, right? Because he stole it. Other people thought they were going to get it back. They right. were not. They though. weren't. No. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of sad stories in it. It's like people who it's like, yeah, I convinced my mom to put her life savings I, into Lou. I know. I, I the, the, any the, like watching the Madoff stuff. It's crazy. It the Madoff broke stuff broke my heart. Like destroyed lives. Yeah. Didn't look a bad. lot of lives. A lot, and like it's not just rich people. People who were not rich at all. Right. That that was their little their little nut. Right, right. Because it's like he always gets results. Yeah. But also like, what are you talking about? He works on Wall Street, on real Wall Street. He's not some shady guy at a Long Island strip mall. He's not Wolf of Wall Street. He's this old guy that's been doing it for years. He looks like he belongs in a mall now. Yeah. Well, he, okay. I think he got beat up in jail too. Yeah. But like, why would he be scamming? That's crazy. Would yeah. you take it that deal? No, I no. You know, you I, just it just feels icky because I, it's like I not I, because you couldn't have him make more money than you, but just feels. I not. would rather make seventy five grand you know, and do it myself. That's uh, than follow some weird looking fat guy. And live in his house for a while, for years. And like, because then yeah. I'm looking at this 10 to 20 million that I got in the bank and going like, all I had to do was sell my soul but that's, to Lou but Perlman. It's not really a, the soul, though, because at the it's time, the if that's your dream, he's just helping you achieve that dream. But what's your dream? To maybe be a pop star, which is what, what is that? What is that? That's like people who say their dream is to be famous. That's not a dream. My dream is to go on a private jet. Exactly. It's not any, it, no closer to happening today. It's a shallow dream. <laughs> and if it's really your dream to go on a private jet or be famous, you're a bad person. That's not really my dream. It's just like a fun thing I'd really like to have I know you'd happen. like to do it. I don't think you're a bad person. Okay, thanks. I think you're a good person. Thanks. I think sometimes your instincts are bad. Are bad. Horrible. But you know why? Because you operate from pureness. Yeah. And there's no censoring that pureness. You operate from a purity. I think sometimes Matt wishes that I had a censor on my purity. Oh, I mean, if you and I were married, you would kill me. You'd, would you shove be a in cork? In I, that I'd be. You know, I no, I'd be like. Remember that other Netflix documentary, The Staircase? Yeah, where I, the guy's I, wife falls down the stairs because an owl hit her or something. Did she fall? He's like, I didn't push her, so it must have been something else. Right, that'd be me you, with you. Yeah, and I'd be on the bottom of the stairs. Hundred percent, bloody, just like. 100%. And I'd be like, I don't know what happened. I don't know. She just was so pure. Yeah. She was kind of nuts, though. So, yeah. She, so probably, maybe, yeah. she probably freaked out about probably something. Trying and, to frame me. Yeah. Going down in a blaze of glory. And then accidentally cracked her neck or something. I don't know, guys. <laughs> she didn't mean to die. She just like Look, she wanted to, like. You guys figure this out. I'll tell you right now, it wasn't murder. So, take that off the table. But. So, if you would murder me, then maybe you understand why we're such a fiery couple. Like, you understand why we yell and scream at each other. I'm infuriating. Yes. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And it takes a special person to want to be around that energy all the time. And he is oh so special. He is special. And he has energy that's hard to be around often as well. Uh, sure, whatever. But I did sense, when I was talking to him on the phone in our pre-production meeting, mm -hmm. I did sense sort of a relief when I said, your wonderful, incredible wife yeah. is so hideously jealous <laughs> and he started laughing because it's like he knows yeah because i feel like sometimes when it's just you guys in the apartment 
he's like he doesn't have anyone to, that stands because it's by like him. am I the crazy one right. is she normal Correct. she's like acting like there's nothing wrong with what she's doing he, and I'm telling him no she's nuts yeah, yeah. it's funny because just the other day I was I was like on one or something and he goes I, I guess there's something going on with you what's going on with you right and I just was like nothing's going on with you why are you trying to act like I'm crazy you you look like an insane person look make, painting me like this crazy person nothing nothing nothing's up with me and it was this like power struggle of was like, there something up with you. I'm not really, I don't think. I think there's always something up with me. It's you. It's, it's your just essence. Me, pure essence. Insanity. Love me or leave me. Right. You're so right. Make the choice. The door is there. I've already got all our information in, in divorce.com. You know it, I know it. We all know it. <laughs> One click away. <laughs> wow. I hope you're using oh. that click not to divorce, but to subscribe to the podcast. Wherever you get podcasts, if you want to watch, Watch on YouTube. Mm -hmm. If you want to listen, subscribe on Apple, Spotify, Sirius XM app. I would do both. Yeah. I would uh, watch the clips on YouTube, like, you know, scan through right. and listen on the, but on that's the, just on us. the podcast apps, whatever you want to do. But I mean, just saying, let's get this party started. Yeah, leave. Let's go to the top, baby. To the moon. To the moon. I need to get on that private jet and I can't do it without you. That's true. Get <laughs> Nicole on a private jet. Leave reviews, comments, questions, yes. the whole deal. And, uh, We'll see you at the next Satisfying. Download this shit. <laughs> okay? That was good. No, that was okay. good. That was good. Oh, that was a good episode.